All sports have their big moves. In Aussie Rules footy, it's the high mark. In golf, the hole in one. Surfing is no different, except when most sports have one or two big moments, in surfing, we've got heaps. One of the most traditional and classic of all surfing moves is the cutback. The surfer gets as much speed as possible, races way out on the face, puts pressure on his back foot and cuts back towards the wave in a 180 degree turn, banks off the soup and then turns back in the original path he was taking. Another part of every competition surfer's repertoire is the re-entry. The surfer turns hard off the bottom of the wave, heads vertically straight up the face of the wave, hits the lip, snaps it back around, drops down the face and continues his ride. Try this move on for size. People call it amazing, we call it an aerial. Like the re-entry, the surfer comes hard off the bottom, heads straight up the face, but instead of hitting the lip, keeps on going up into the air, snaps it around in the air, then free falls back down to the face of the wave and continues on with his ride. One of the latest moves to hit the competition circuit is the floater. The surfer gains maximum speed, rises to the top of the wave, glides across the lip and then drops back into the wave. And by the way, if someone surfs with their left foot forward like say Mark Richards, they're a natural footer. Put your right foot forward like two-time world champion Tom Carroll and you're a goofy footer. Sorry about that Tom. Back to moves and let's leave you with the most exhilarating and exciting of all surfing moves, the high scoring tube ride. This is where the surfer literally disappears behind the breaking part of the wave. And once you've been tubed, you're a surfer for life. So sit back and relax while the best surfers in the world do their stuff. The first day of competition, a gentle offshore breeze, one to one and a half metre waves, and national pride goes on the line, plus a small matter of $100,000.